Hello students, welcome to Ben Academy. In this short video, I am going to explain you how iron is extracted from its ore. So this is the iron factory. And what are the raw materials required? This is the first thing we should learn. Second thing, how the raw materials are processed in the industry and what are the machineries used in the industry in order to extract iron. Let's see one by one. These are the three raw materials required. The foremost and important raw material is the ore of iron, that is hematite. Hematite is nothing but uh, iron oxide, that is ferric oxide mixed with some impurity called silica, that is ordinary sand. So in order to remove the silica, limestone is added. And in order to convert iron oxide into iron, coal is used. Of course, coal is also used as a fuel to heat the raw material. Now, this is a furnace used in the industry. It's called blast furnace. So, this is a very tall tower lined inside with uh, fire bricks. And this tall uh, blast furnace is divided into three zones. This is the lower zone, this is the middle zone, and this is the upper zone. Now, let us see what happens in this furnace when the raw materials are fed into this. See the raw materials are hematite, that is the iron ore, limestone and coke. So they are added one by one, one after the other into the blast furnace. And when the coke reaches the bottom, hot air is blasted into the furnace. So the coal, there is a carbon present in the coal, completely burnt into carbon dioxide. So it is an exothermic reaction, therefore lots of heat energy is produced that is almost uh, equal to 1700 degree Celsius. And when this carbon dioxide gas rises up, it reacts with the carbon present in the coal, which is being fed from the top. And this carbon dioxide is converted into carbon monoxide. And two more reactions also taking place in the middle zone. The one is the limestone containing calcium carbonate decomposes into lime and carbon dioxide. This lime, reacts with the silica present in the hematite ore as impurity to form calcium silicate. So therefore in the middle zone calcium silicate is formed. And in the upper zone, see here, in the middle zone carbon dioxide is converted into carbon monoxide. The carbon monoxide when it reaches the upper zone, it reduces the iron oxide from the iron ore into iron and itself gets oxidized to carbon dioxide. So in the a lower zone carbon dioxide gas is produced when it goes to the middle layer it is converted into carbon monoxide at the same time here the lime and silica is converted into calcium silicate the carbon monoxide when it rises up to the upper zone it reduces the iron oxide into iron and itself gets oxidized to carbon dioxide therefore we can see three main products are formed in the blast furnace one is calcium silicate and the second one is iron and third one is carbon dioxide how they are collected? Let us see one by one. See iron in the molten form and also being denser, it sinks to the bottom of the furnace. And calcium silicate being lighter than iron, it is collected over the molten iron at the bottom of the furnace. And carbon dioxide gas, being a gas, it goes out through the chimney. Now, the molten iron collected here is called pig iron, which is collected through the outlet at the bottom. And calcium silicate, which floats on the surface of the molten iron, is collected through this out outlet. Now, let us see this process in animation. Uh, this is the blast furnace, you know. Now, the raw material should be fed into the furnace and all the reaction taking place inside the furnace and finally the molten iron will be collected at the bottom and the slag that is the impurity calcium silicate will be collected above the molten iron and which will be collected through this outlet. Let us see one by one in animation. So in stage one the raw materials are fed into the furnace iron ore and then coke. and limestone, so which are fed into the furnace. Now in the second stage, hot air should be blasted inside. So you can see hot air is blasted here inside. 
now in the lower zone already i explained you carbon reacts with uh, oxygen to form carbon dioxide here now next stage so in the middle zone what will happen carbon dioxide will be converted into carbon monoxide and calcium carbonate will be converted into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide that calcium oxide will react with silica to form calcium silicate in the middle zone now in the upper zone see here now the iron is collected being collected at the bottom here uh, in the upper zone iron oxide will be reduced to iron by carbon monoxide and the slag is collected over the iron here and which will be collected through this and molten iron will be collected through this and what will happen to the carbon dioxide gas so that will go out through the chimney so you can see this okay now how to remember this let us see one by one so this is a blast furnace you know so the first raw material is hematite so in order to remember hematite you can remember the bollywood actress hema malini she is jumping into the furnace so hema malini hematite and then you are throwing lime into the furnace so you can remember limestone and finally you are throwing coke bottle into the furnace that that will remind you coke now finally you are collecting uh, molten iron at the bottom of the furnace so that iron is called pig iron therefore you can see pigs collecting the iron so that will remind you the molten iron collected here is called pig iron and above the molten iron calcium silicate is collected who is collecting the calcium silicate a silly cat is collecting the calcium silicate silly cat silicate so it's easy for you to remember now close your eyes and see the entire process in your mind side see the tall blast furnace uh, first you are feeding hematite that sema malni is jumping into the furnace and then you are throwing lime into it that will remind you limestone and third thing you are throwing coke bottle into it so that will remind you coke now you just uh, try to visualize everything is being burnt inside the furnace you can see the hot red flames inside and the molten iron formed on the top of the furnace sinks to the bottom of the furnace and above which the calcium silicate is collected and from the bottom of the furnace pigs are collecting the molten iron and on the other side a silly cat is collecting calcium silicate hope you liked it this will definitely help you to remember this process for a long time now let us recap what are the things we learned first one raw material what are the raw materials so this hema malini picture will remind you hematite and then uh, limestone and then coke then what is the name of the furnace so you just imagine the blast is happening inside the blast furnace so that will remind you it's a blast furnace so what is the role of uh, limestone it is used as a flux and what is the slag formed that is the impurity formed in this process so who is collecting the slag a cat a silly cat is collecting so that is called calcium silicate and what's the name of the molten iron extracted in this process so who is collecting that molten iron pig therefore it is called pig iron okay like this if you want to learn all the chemistry syllabus in 9th standard and 10th standard of course integrated with memory techniques so that you can learn everything in a fun filled way and also that will help you to remember for a longer period in addition to that uh, speed mathematics also will be taught in my workshop that will help you a lot in 9th and 10th standard you can always approach me uh, the email id given here or through my mobile number given here you can frequently visit www.benacademy.com for more updates Thank you very much.